Nation, Naoya Inoue, in the white, red, and blue trunks, Marlon Tapales, in the black and white trunks. Already, you see that, that hand speed on his play from, from Inoue. And now Tapaz is making the, um, the mistake of just sitting in front of him too long because Noe has explosive power and any minute he could just he could just dart out with a, with a solid two shots down the down the pipe. He saw in a way with a quick right hand and there again, Jamel, it's not just the power, it's the speed that in a way possesses. That's what I mean. You can't just sit there and right in front of him looking at him because right just like shots like that, like I just said. Two shots down the pipe. That's all he needs. Yeah. Mm. There's Good a shot. left hand for Tapalas that gets in. Again, I like to see Tapalas that, you know, especially as, as a softball, you know, move to his keep move to his right. And don't do that, because like I said, he, he would have fell into a, to a mean uppercut by lunging in like that. Just, just move to your right, to your right. And stay off the, you know, stay off the line from Inoue's right hand. Because that's a softball killer. Sharp right hand to the body, followed up by a left hand by Inoue. One minute to go in round one of our main events. We see a measured approach here from Tapalas. Remember, Inoue said, I hope Tapalas comes out aggressive. It excites me. That's the most dangerous part. Yeah, and he's, really, he's known for, his, for landing his punch output at times. You know, so that's what, that's what Inoue is probably look, looking forward to, of him getting aggressive. But again, I, that, I, that's probably the wrong thing Tapalas wants to do because the more aggressive you get, the more openings you create, you allow, you, you create for your opponents. So, Jamel, we could call that a surprising round away. Anyway's father, Nayo's father and trainer. There's the left hand that landed yeah, for Tapalas. Nice it was an interesting game plan, right? Come out a little bit more conservative, a little bit, work on your timing a little bit. You see, you see right there is what I mean when he, when he, fell, when he fell in, though. And he got a quick way to use his, that, um, you know, that left hook to the body. We've seen many fighters drop by body shots by the dangerous Naoya in a way. Round two underway here. You know, yeah, just, you know, upper body movement. Little, little short steps. You don't gotta, you don't gotta exert too much, but you, you, you have to do something. You have to do something in front of a, you know, in front of your, your opponent. Even, even if it's just subtle movements, you know, faint, stepping over, but you don't, what you don't want to do is stand in front of them because, like, again, we've seen them explode out with a one-two and, 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 you know, in fights early with just that combination. And just like that, in a way, landed the one-two there. Now, it was partially blocked by Tapalas, but that's what Tapalas doesn't want to have happen. There's a left hand. Is that get, that's going to be called a slip. It'd be interesting to see the replay on that one. It did look like a quick left hand as in a way follows it up with a right to the body. And again, you can see in a way using that reach advantage, you know, just boxing and keeping everything on the outside. Basically, you probably try to bait him in to fall, to, to fall over that lead foot again and before he lets go of that right hand. You see, you see the power's reaching at times with, with, with the jab. And you see, in a way, with that back foot taking a step back, almost trying to get that looping right hand, almost that uppercut to Tapalas' head when he leans in. Halfway through this round two. <laughs> And look at the feet. Look, look, look where Tapaz's feet, feet are at. 
They're on the inside, and he's he's gonna he's walking straight into that right hand. He, he needs to get his foot on the outside of Inouye's and keeps turning him. And then, and that way he he lines his left hand up to get a chance to get you know to get to shoot it down down the pipe on Inouye. But when he's falling like that, he's falling into that right hand. See, he's late. He's, he, his head, his head is going right, right in the direction of that right hand. He doesn't want to do that. That's where he doesn't want to be. And, and one thing that gets forgotten a lot with Inouye, we see the highlight reel knockouts, but the defense, and you see the left hand there covering the head. He's known as, he's been called twitchy before, but in a way, it's his ability to parry, to, to disrupt punches coming towards the head. See how he fell in? Round two, similar to round one here. Oh, no jab, no jab from Tapalis. And again, you know, Tapalis has to watch out, like, right, keeping that high guard to move that. Ooh, nice uppercut. You know, it's the same. That high guard times you don't always see everything coming at you. You know, you sometimes like we seen in the fights earlier. Um, you know, going around the guard and plus you gotta watch where his elbows at. Meaning, meaning, um, you know, in a way, can take that. He can he can start, you know, targeting under the elbows to the body. So you gotta you gotta start watching out for that as well. And nice body, body shot, but in a way that high guard is like blinders in a way. You don't yeah. see what's coming around it. And even anyway, you know what I'm saying, he put his hands up and what happened? He didn't see, he didn't see that shot that just broke through the guard. That's what I mean, that body shot. You can hear that devastating body work. By anyway. Boom. And I feel like the power is, you know, he's, he's warming up himself. He, he, he's got to let his hands go. Now this is when the activity, the activity and the output, you know, begins for the power. Nice work from Tapalis. Like again, he, want, he wants to keep backing up in a way to keep him offset. But the minute he gets like that and let, and, and let in a way plant his feet, he's going to generate power. And you have to give credit to Tapalis. Yes, he's the underdog, but he's the yeah. champion in this division. He's not coming in like we've seen previous opponents of Inouye do and not trying to engage. <laughs> and again, I like, I, like, I like the game plan that Tapalis is doing though in terms of the body. Nice, nice right hook to the up top. He's, he's going for the body, you know, to probably take away some of that power up in way, but, but he has to be, he has to be careful. He don't, you don't want to get greedy. And here Ooh. comes Inoue. Two right hands to the body. Left hand upstairs. Inoue making his presence known in this round four. Now you see the pause is marching forward. Nice body shot right in, the, right in between the punches. And Inoue. He's got a hard shot by Naoya. Oh! Big left hand to the head. Here comes uh, Inoue, man. the monster. Yeah. Left hand, right hand, the is down. Five seconds left in this round four. Can Tapalis beat the count? He does. Magnolia. Didn't see the shot with the high guard. Came around the guard. Put him down. So that's, that's a very tough uppercut for anyone. Woo! Nice counter from Tapala, though. Another huge body shot. Tell you, he has to protect that body. Because pretty soon, if the hands are going to drop, and he's going to come right back up top. Tapalas is a warrior, all-out warrior. He's taking his punishment, and he's coming right back, landing body shots, going to the head. That's cool, up there, right? It's cool to be a warrior, but you, you have to be smart man, too.
Nice counter. Nice counter right away. Boom. That was nice. That was nice from the Collins. Collins lands a seat. Another one. And another one. <laughs> Here comes Marley to Collins. Ooh. Yeah. Back and forth. One of the most competitive rounds of the fight so far. Nice. Both men exchanging right hands to the head. Oh. Big uppercut by Inouye. I like what Chikaz is doing at times, but when he throws his shots, he just stands right in front of him, and Inouye comes right back, and that times a harder shot, so he needs to lay his, he needs to get in and just take a step over. You can tell those body shots are affecting Chikaz's emotions. Oh! Right hand gets in for Inouye. The chowder. And again, just standing in front of him. He, got, he needs to keep, he needs, he needs to do something. Faint, turn, something. It's not where you want to be if you're Marlon Tapales. Oh, nice. That, I love that uppercut from Tapales. It, it's breaking the guard up anyway. Nice. Yes, I mean, get yours and go. Head movement. Get under the shots and everything. But don't just stand, don't just stand in front of them after you throw your shots. Or just walk and straight to it. Put your hands up. Incredible action in this round five. What happens in this? Because that's what he does a lot. He'll throw shots and then he'll just stand there, and then he'll allow in a, you know in a way to shoot right back at him. See that? You see? That shot was good because it looked like it was going because it was going to be a body shot, but then he rotated it and came. He just has to be smart with his defense. Round six underway at this undisputed Super Bantamweight Championship. Naoya Inoue in the white, red, and blue trunks. Marlon Tapales in the black and white turnbuckle on the call, joined by Jamel Herring. The Ariaki Arena in Tokyo, Japan is playing host to this matchup. You can hear the Tapales singing Jack to the Body. Jack, nice, nice left right hand from the Tapales. Tapales has Inoue backed up now. Ooh! And you hear him, as you hear him say in the corners, they don't like, you don't like the body, the powers go to the body. So again, like I said, he's doing a lot of good things. I'd like to see what's next to him tighten the defense. Good job from the powers. You'd like to see the powers tighten the defense and step out of the way. Yeah, get out the way. Ooh. I know a lot of those are box, but you can hear, you can, you can hear, you can hear the pop on them on the end of those shots from anyway. Now, anyway, as you can see right now, he's just setting up traps because he knows the pause is being aggressive, so he's taking that, he's taking that step back and he's trying to get him catching, coming, you know, catch him coming in. Halfway through this round six, anyway, said he hoped. Tapalos would be aggressive. That that would excite in a way. At that prospect, and you know, you're saying why not going to give in a way opening? And then right now, I like to see Tapalos. You know, starting to move. Like they get, they start lateral movement. Keep turning. Tapalos abandon movement. Slowly, it took two to three right hands upstairs. But like I said earlier, if you know, oh, he got caught. He's coming out with his hands down. But like I said earlier. To pop, whenever he pretty much offsets in a way and keeps backing him up, that's when he finds success. When he just stands the throne and, and tries to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, that's when he, that's when he um, runs the risk of opening up getting caught with something big. And there is something big from the monster. Buried attack downstairs, upstairs. He back and got to keep backing him up, though. Here to Palace's corner, they say, let your hands go. That's what anyway, that's what anyway wants. He wants me, he wants me to do that. Oh! Huge right hand for anyway. 
close out round six. Huh? But the cause is easy, he's in his fight. He's in the, he's definitely in his fight though. Halfway through our undisputed super bantam weight championship. Anyway, did score the knockdown in round four. But Jamel, as you've been saying, Marlon Tapalas is having his moments, but you're looking yes. for some in-fight adjustments here. A nice jab. Nice, good jab. But again, I, I like what he's doing now. You gotta, you gotta keep backing the monster up. But then go. Huge left and right hand get through for Inouye. Yeah, he's, oh, he's, 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 yeah, yeah, he's, he's, he's having his moment. Again, nice, nice. Nice lead jab there. Surprised in a way. In a way, he even impressed him. He gave him his, he gave him his prop. Nice jab. Nice jab. Nice jab. Nice defense. Nice. And ready to shoot back from the pilot. And that time you saw Tapalas use the leech shoulder to he roll it. Punch. Yeah, he rolled it. Punches. Just, he's stepping over. That battle of that front foot is so common when an orthodox fighter fights a southpaw. Reaching. Good jab again with the Tapalas. And one of those adjustments you asked for, Jamel, is being done there. Marlon Tapalas, he doesn't have the high guard with both hands. That right hand is a little bit lower. And I, and I believe you were calling for that because you don't want him to block his own view from punches coming at you. And even, yeah, and from there, from there, he can see, he probably can see the punches coming at him a lot better than when he had the high guard in his face blinding him. Even now, he's getting in and out. Now, Inouye is going to have to probably make some adjustments with his own now. But he, 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 he's seen that he can't get to him with that right hand. So he's probably going to have to, you know, step. You know, he can't just look for one or two shots. And you see, the pause is catching his shots with that, with that, with that left, with his left hand now. And he's rolling. Well, you see, he's turning. And he's, ha he's having moments. He's probably even winning, even winning the round. Got caught. He right hand <laughs> got caught though, but the third was the most powerful. It definitely got to Paulus's attention. Mm, nice shot to Paulus. Paulus with a nice left hand to close out round seven. And in the way, last round we heard referee Celestino Ruiz. Say to both fighters, watch your feet. And it's been a, it's been a battle of geography the yeah. whole night. Like, you know? Nice jab, nice jab from the pilot. And you see now with the pilot, he's got, you know, he's, he, he, he's changing levels with, with, with his arm, with his body, meaning that he's bending his knees, he's got the body movement, he's turning, he, the jab is finding more success. Now, you know what I'm saying? He's catching anyway, falling at times. And when he does, you know, he, he, he has that free hand. Let it go. See, he is showing good. That hand's free. Let it go. Oh. He has to be careful on the inside because you don't want to get greedy and, and forget about your defense. But that's when you get hit in between the shots and you, you, you don't see it coming. But he even, he even has, in a way, you know, he's thinking, he's thinking more. It's more of a chess match now. It's not, it, it was, it, early in the fight, it was a, it was a, becoming a slug fix. That's what you want to see in an industry to fight. Two fighters making in-fight adjustments. And Marlon Kapalos has been able to find nice some success here in the middle rounds. He's found, he's found a lot of success when he catches in a way, you know, backing out. Because that's what I mentioned earlier. I feel like you have to keep, you have to keep the monster off and on, on, the, on the back foot. But when, when, 
when he's coming forward, that's when he's really dangerous. And you sit in front of him, he's gonna let it, he's gonna let his hands go. Nice. From Tapalas again. The left hand got in there from Tapalas. And again. It's also to know you mentioned Tapalas lowering that right lead hand. It also allows a different angle for him to throw the jab that yeah. may not be expected. Not like, like you said, he'll dip, but he'll shoot the jab upward, you know, and, and it'll catch, it'll catch um, an area of, of guard. Nice. Big right hand there for anyway. He threw, he threw the shot where he felt, where he felt that where um, Tapaz was going to be at. He knows that though he's gonna dip, so he threw a right down in and cut him and cut him on the mark. Nice counter from the in anyway. He's a champion, so you gotta you gotta give him that respect. He's a champion. Round nine underway, and that's exactly what we hoped for and expected from Tapaz, even though he has two bows, came in as an underdog. Has shocked the world before. You see, I see. You see the small adjustment from anyway. Like he's doubling up that right hand. See again, he's doubling up that right hand. Cause the pause, he probably thinks pause thinks he's gonna stop at one right hand and he'll double up. Nice one too. Shot from the pause. Left hand got through for the pause. Nice, nice combination. And right now, this distance, this pace, right, is working for Tapalas. Mm -hmm. That's the monster game is that when he, he starts moving forward. So when he does that, gotta back him up. Keep backing him up. And keep turning. Right now he's lined, he's lined up today to, to in a way his own right hand. See, he just got caught. He got lined up. Gotta keep turning him. And there you see Tapal is getting on his right foot on the outside of in a way his knee foot. But he has, but he has to watch, I know, he has to watch it. Because he, he, when he shoots that jab forward, he still, he shoots right, he, he falls right on the inside of um, in a way's feet. Sean, you hear Sean giving something, you gotta back him up. But when you sit there like that, you always get, you always get pieced up all, all night. Especially when you have the monster landing one, two. Some of these are getting through the guard. And there's some good body work. We have to give Marlon Tapala's credit. Not only part of a warrior, part of a champion, but also yeah. invest into that body. And he's been going to that all night. And jab in the palace. Mm, the palace goes back to that high guard. Two jabs and one big right hand for Inouye at the close of round nine. The body shot from Inouye under, under those elbows. Lead left in. Round 10 from the Ariaki Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Undisputed super bantamweight crown on the line. Anyway, certainly having success. But Marlon Tapala showing that he belongs in this ring. He belongs with an opportunity for himself to become undisputed. Making in fight adjustments. At times frustrating in a way. And you know, you notice at times when he puts his hands up like that, in a way would throw a shot and it hurt. Ooh. Big right hand there. Back up to Paulus. And can he beat the count? He's not gonna make nope. it up.
The legend of the monster continues to grow. In a way, becomes only the second man to be undisputed in multiple weight divisions in the modern era. History made here in Tokyo.